Hello everyone, welcome back to another die cast review. I will tell you what though, today is going to be a very busy day uh, for yours truly. I got to record, let's see, I have one, not counting this one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven die casts to review today. That's a lot. That, that's a whole lot. I'm probably going to do some tomorrow, too. But i got to do, like, a bunch of moving. i, I got to go do some hay today. I have to uh, clean up a lot of stuff. I have to move some stuff around. So it's going to be a pretty darn busy day. I'm not going to lie. Then i got to work on customs after I get my printer back up and working. Because it hasn't been working for the past few days. Uh, so, yeah. Definitely got a lot cut out for me. And I want to try to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Trying not to have too many mistakes, uh, you know, so I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing. I can just kind of put the intros in here and then, you know, get them all pumped out for the upcoming week. Even after all of this diecast recording and custom recording is done, I still got like 10 more that I need to review. But, I mean, I'll do it later on down the road because, of course, next week is going to be booked uh, with, like, pre-uploads. And then I got some diecast coming in the mail. So we're going to do a diecast haul after the next week is over. I was just going to add more diecast to it. So again, we're going to be pretty darn busy. But I am doing what I can. So anyway, today we got Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing, which, you know, of course it's Jennifer's truck. Now this is uh, celebrating 10 years of whatever, uh, I don't know what this, I guess this is when she started, it was 2010. Uh, so 10 years, either way, this is a 2020 diecast, of course. Uh, you know, 10 plus 11 is not 20, uh, then, you know, that's 21, so, uh, from 2010, it goes, uh, established 2010, so I guess that's either the, uh, whatchamacallit, the team, or when she started driving, either or, or both, I don't know, honestly, but this truck is actually, it's not bad, it's pretty cool, it's got a driven to honor, you know, for the, uh, us soldiers and stuff got the camouflage back there to kind of match that it actually looks really good and i'm pretty happy they got a uh jennifer truck out now i'm not really a fan of the truck series i don't watch the truck series at all uh but yeah it's still pretty cool to have a jennifer joe cobb truck uh, i think this is the first and only uh, jennifer diecast we've ever had so that kind of just adds to it but that is going to be another plus for the collection Again, not a truck person, but I mean, hey, when it's a kind of a one-off driver like this, and it's kind of a cool, like, either a tribute thing or like a celebrating however many years, I do kind of want to keep those. Those are kind of cool to me. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast. We've got that white, pink, and camo with the black there. Pretty awesome color combination. It's a, it's an odd color combination, but it's a pretty awesome one nonetheless. Look, we got a pink spoiler back here. I wonder if there's a pink spoiler. I can't really tell. It looks like there is. So we're going to have to uh, take a look at that. That'd be really awesome if they had the uh, spoiler and splitter pink. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast. Here is the die cast out of the box, and honestly it looks pretty darn good, but there's one little thing that kind of irks me right now, and if you take a look at the rear wheels, or both wheels actually, uh, you can kind of tell they did not do a very good job, so let's kind of take a look at this, like I mean that's... Yeah, that paint job is not good, it looks like there's like paint cracking on the uh, actual plastic, it's like... I don't know, it's just like... Well, I, I don't know, but with white and day glow for the wheels, Lionel does not do a very good job because I guess they're painted. They're not like printed white or anything. So that is a little odd. Uh, I hate how that looks, but I mean for like the idea of white rims for this die cast is actually a pretty awesome idea. And it looks like he does have a pink splitter. So there's a pink splitter, uh, pink roof number. That actually reminds me of back in the old days. Uh, when they used to have, I don't know if they had all of them, or actually I think it's kind of a mix of the old uh, Chase for the Cup format. Because they used to have like the splitter, name banner, and roof number, and I think they had like the splitter and number, and then eventually they went to the splitter, banner, and then uh, spoiler back here. So it's kind of like a mix of the old slash new system, where... Uh, well, the new system for 2021, it's only the spoiler. The splitter is not colored. Uh, but the, like, for 2017, 18, and 19, actually up until, I want to say it was 2015 to 2019, they had the uh, splitter, name banner, and spoiler painted yellow or green uh, just for, you know, the playoff system. So, with this, it's pink. Uh, pink and then you know pink so it's got the pink splitter roof number and you got the spoiler back here and of course this is not a playoff die cast because it would be blue 
I'm just saying that's kind of what it reminds me of. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual paint scheme instead of talking so darn much. Uh, so right here on the hood, we got uh, Fastener, I think. Got uh, Established 1959, or Fastener Supplier right there. Got the front end, got that pink. Uh, oh, wow, you can see the pink in the back. That's actually pretty cool. Got the pink thing there. Got the uh, Gander RV and Outdoors right there as well. Got the number 10, which it looks like it's a little raised. And, you know, that's, uh, I mean, that's okay, kind of. I mean, I'm not really a truck person. Again, I don't really care about the truck diecast too much. Uh, but let's see, we got... Uh, pit stops something right there. I don't really know what that is. Honestly, it's like it, I mean it says pit stops It's like pit stops uh, It says something else there, but I can't really tell what it is but celebrating 10 years or established 2010 right there. We got a what is that sponsor there? Let's see uh, it's Something Yates Matthew Matthew Yates. Yeah, I think that's what that says right there uh, but I got the kind of tribute thing on the back, which it does look kind of cool, not going to lie. With that black and pink, it kind of matches the car. Pretty cool. Of course, you got Cobb on the back. I kind of forgot to mention that. My bad. Of course, you got uh, Driven to Honor, Silverado. Got the Chevy bow tie right there. RST. Got the tin right there as well. Over here on the side, you got the Driven to Honor dot com or dot org. I'm sorry. You got a, uh, was that Slutes right there? Slutes? I, like Kind of like Sluter Systems, but I mean, not quite. It's like half that, I guess. Got the white, pink, and... Uh, black there with that little bit of camo. Of course, you got the little swooshes going down the side to the uh, front of the wheel well, which looks pretty cool. Uh, what's that? Parad? How in the world do you say that? I already know I'm going to butcher that, so I'm not even going to attempt. You got the 10 years celebrating right there. Of course, you got a uh, uh, Jen Joe Cobb right there. Got her at. And of course, you got the American flag. Let's see. We got the uh, Gander, R uh, yeah, Gander Truck Series or RV and Outdoors. Uh, Kometic, Holly, Fi, Tilton, NASCAR race truck, not NASCAR race car, Mobile One, Lincoln Welders, and uh, Cell, Celldyne, I think, and then got the Goodyear there. Of course, you got the uh, weird looking wheels, you got the Goodyear logo above the wheel well. Of course, you got uh, Simpson, Sunoco, and here's what I was kind of thinking, I didn't know if this was going to be on the truck or not because it's all pictures, but you can see there is a Rookie of the Year contender decal on this die cast now if you you know didn't catch literally the whole uh you know the whole die cast 10 years by the way she is not a rookie this year or last year technically she's been in the cup series for a little bit she's been in the truck series for a little bit so i mean she hasn't been in the cup series actually no was she ever in the cup series i want to say she was in the xfinity series but I don't know if she ever made it to the Cup Series. I want to say she had like a few like one-off race. I can't remember. But I do remember her not being in anything but the trucks. There was something else that she was in. I don't remember what it was. I want to say it might it may have been Xfinity. I don't really remember. But I know at least for the trucks, she's not a rookie. She's been around for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, Sunoco Rookie of the Year quote contender. Uh, she can't contend because she's not a rookie. So yet another error from Lionel. Now, of course, it's not a huge error, but it is a little weird. I mean, you know, honestly, it's I mean, it's, just, it's Lionel. Lionel does it sometimes. We don't know why. Uh, just it's Lionel that happens. But I mean, at least it wasn't anything huge. And I must admit, I don't think I really saw any huge problem other than the wheels on this diecast for like either like plaint, uh, plaint, yeah, plaint splotches. Paint splotches, uh, decal chips. I don't think I saw any of it. So honestly, I think decal decals. Wow, I can't talk. I think Lionel did a very good job decaling this diecast. So I'll give him a little bit of props for that. I will, even though they kind of messed up the uh, that small contingency. But I'm not going to nitpick that. But overall, the quality of this diecast is actually pretty darn good. But again, overall, it's not bad at all. So the paint scheme is great. Uh, it's a brand new driver you can use for your truck series if you do a stop motion or just any type of series at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty darn good diecast to get in multiple ways. Of course, it's got a brand new driver. Uh, it's pink. That's pretty. Pretty in pink. Uh, you got some camo on there if you're a fan of camo. You got like a, like a soldier type sponsorship on there. Driven to Honor, of course. You got the Celebrating 10 Years. So it's a female driver. Uh, it's... It's pretty awesome. It's a really good die cast. Now, of course, you got that pink on there, which really makes it pop, honestly. I really like the pink. It's a very uh, hot pink. Of course, you got it going down the side, across the tailgate there. 
or not the tailgate, but the uh, the truck bed. Again, you got the number, got the you got it outlined on the side. The splitter, spoiler, it's just it goes very well together. It's a great paint scheme, great die cast, and I definitely recommend it if you have not picked it up already. Who knows? This one might just even dry up. So I would get it while you can. And with that being said, that will be all for this die cast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.